hi. Ron on Catalos. One of like five that I'm recording today. <laughs> yeah. We'll leave for TwitchCon tonight. We'll leave for TwitchCon tonight and uh instead of preparing a bunch of content ahead of time, I'm just gonna record it back to back to back to back today. Um so we got some stuff lined up. We're gonna do a normal just quick run, see how fast we can get through it. Then I'm gonna try hack pick. There is no cam. If you're not mistaken, there is no cam today. Uh, two reasons. All my clothes are currently in the wash, so I am... Uh, well, not naked. I'm not naked, but... <laughs> I, you know, I'm just... I'm wear I look like a scumbag right now because I'm wearing, like, sleeping clothes and stuff. There is none of that. None of that. Uh, just do this right quick. But, uh, yeah, TwitchCon. So, but everything you see from, you know, today's Wednesday. Uh, so, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday's content is all going to be pre-recorded. It's all pre-recorded. Uh, I'm just going to release it every day, kind of thing. Because <laughs> I'll be out with the movers and shakers of the world. A platform that is slowly creeping up on YouTube in terms of hours watched. Will it ever topple YouTube? I don't know. Probably not. Uh, just because of the nature of the content, right? It's a little bit different. Everybody can come to YouTube and find something they want to watch. Uh, Twitch. Can't can't quite say that yet. Make sure everything is proper. Uh, I guess I never know what to use for the year. It doesn't even matter, I guess. Really doesn't even matter. <laughs> Alright, make sure I got cards. Got new cards. Damage mainframe cores, which are gonna turn into a real mainframe cores. Live split up. Best items. Get these bad boys. Get these bad boys. Hell yeah. I just have some random playlist going on right now. Um, it's from a royalty free site. <laughs> because, uh, Apparently, D uh, DMCA's are going around. Apparently, DMCA's are going around. Nope. Oh, better safe than sorry. I'm just, uh... Not fucking around with it. We're gonna use royalty-free stuff today. And, I yes, I know that it's part of the game, and I think since it's part of, like, the music in the game has, like... I don't know. I don't know how it works. Because even though I never like play my own music uh, while recording these videos, it is uh, still copyright claimed by YouTube. Still copyright claimed by YouTube. So I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't know. Just don't know. So I don't know if I can get DMCA for it or what. So I'm just not even gonna mess around with it. Uh, we're gonna hop right in. Everything should be set to do this run rather quickly. As long as the server holds up, is all we need. Please. <laughs> Yesterday I did a bunch of footage recording uh, for the new world record silo run video. Berg Arisi should have that all up relatively soon. All right, you know the deal. As soon as the elevator, as soon as we leave the elevator, as soon as the quest rewards or event complete comes up, they both indicate the same thing. One just pops up sooner than the other sometimes. And here we go. Okay, never mind. And here we go.
So TwitchCon's an interesting thing. I've been to a few of them. Um, and I go to I go to a lot of conventions. I go to a lot of conventions. It's part of my job. I work with like my real life job. I am, you know, I work with pop culture and pop culture um, audiences, stuff like that. And TwitchCon. It's a very interesting beast, right? Because, you know, you go to, like, you go to Comic-Con. Or you go to, you know, C2E2. Or Wizard World. Or, you know, pick any one of the cons. And, you know, it's people celebrating. It's fans. And fan service. People celebrating, you know, pop culture and celebrities and comic books. So on and so forth. Which is fine, that's part of the show, right? You know, you, you pay to get your pictures taken, you pay for your autographs, so on and so forth. TwitchCon doesn't do that, right? Price of admission gets you in. And with that price of admission, you can run into streamers, you can go to their official meetups. You can do all kinds of stuff. It's, in a weird way, its own professional event. And more of a celebration of what live streaming has become than really celebrating any one particular streamer, which is odd, right? Sure, they, they know who the stars are, you know, they know who their big, their big, their, you know, their heavy hitters are and whatnot. But it's not like, you know, come here and see Shroud, or come here and see, you know, I guess Ninja back in the day. <laughs> He's gonna have fun at the Mixer Con at the Holiday Inn Express in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, I guess. But, uh... <laughs> You know, it's, it's not like that, right? I mean, you can go out, you know, you just hang around. The convention center has, it, right, it has panels, it has all that stuff, has workshops, so on and so forth. It has all that stuff you'd expect at a convention. You can run in the streamers all throughout the show floor. You know, you might be just be walking around the show floor and bump into, who knows, like, Man vs. Game. He might just be hanging out, right? It's super laid back like that. But what's more interesting about TwitchCon... I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be talking. Hey, you know what, maybe... Eh. Oh my god. I don't think it's like a secret, but like, everybody there is a streamer, right? Everybody at this thing is a streamer. You will have a harder time running into somebody who is not a streamer... ...than not, you know, than, you know, a streamer themselves. Now, does that mean... You're gonna run into, you know, Tifu, Montana Black, and all those guys, you know, just standing around. Probably not Co. Probably not. But everybody you meet at TwitchCon is in some way involved in streaming, right? Whether they're a viewer, an affiliate, more likely an affiliate. There's close to 700,000 affiliates on Twitch, right? It's a lot. That is a lot. So more than likely, you're gonna run into other affiliates. But, you know, if you're cognizant, you're watching Twitter paying attention to what people are doing, where they're at, who they're hanging out with. I'm not saying stalk them. Not by any means. I'm not saying, like, go out of your way and bother other streamers. But, you know, you can see where people are meeting up. You can see what other people are doing. And you can meet them. You can make new friends. You can grow. You can learn from other people. All this is baked in the TwitchCon. That, in a way that is not baked into other pop culture conventions. I'm gonna die. Right? Yeah, you can go to Wizard World and have, like, your comic book looked at by somebody who works at Marvel. Sure, that happens. But, what you can't do, or what doesn't happen as often as it does at something like TwitchCon, is offer you the ability to talk to other people who are doing the same thing you are. Anybody can be a streamer. Some people think it's problematic, but it's just the way it is. Oh, well, I forgot to turn off Discord messages, so you're gonna hear that. Anybody can be a streamer. You know, some, you know, take it more seriously than others, some more pre professional than others, so on and so forth. But the- God damn it, Discord. Sorry, guys, sorry. Well, it's just the way it is, because I'm not gonna turn it off in the middle of a run. The, uh... Point is... When you're at TwitchCon, Talk to everybody. 
Talk to everybody. Fuck you! Stop messaging me! Sally the altar boy? <laughs> no, point is talk to everybody. Meet new people. Meet new friends. Learn what other people are doing, right? I forgot I'm supposed to be doing this class. It's still gonna be a quick run. I got here pretty quick. I'm gonna stay on the server. Stay on the server. But, uh, you know, but talk to everybody. Now, the other side of it is, is don't be weird, right? Don't be weird. You know, if you run into, you know, Gassy Mexican or Burke Black or Ezekiel the Third, talking them, talking to them for like five minutes, they're not going to come to your channel, right? <laughs> they're not going to come to your channel. They're, they're not going to follow you on Twitter. They're, you know, they're not, I mean, maybe they will. Maybe if they fucking think you're or something, I don't know. But, it, 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 you know, I'm using them as examples, you know. A big streamer, somebody who's making it, somebody who probably is very busy, you know, they appreciate you and they're glad... You know, they want to meet you, and they want to shake your hand, they want to, you know, get to know you as best they can, but, you know, that's, that's not like, oh my god, here's Burke Black standing in front of me, I'm in now. That's not how it works, right? They're busy, this is the one time a year all these streamers get to be in the same place. Sure, you know, and they can see all their friends, they can do all these things, right? So, be wary of that, be wary of the context in which you are talking to these people in. And, you know, don't be annoying. <laughs> you know, if I'm sitting there, if I, so for example, last year at TwitchCon, I was sitting at my hotel bar waiting to leave. I was waiting for, you know, time to pass to go to the hotel or go to the airport. And, uh, oh my God, fucking Sally. Whatever, I don't I don't care. Probably put on sure remote. Sitting at the hotel lobby. Um, uh, waiting for my airplane last year. I ran into Coolidge, Mr. Moon, and Ezekiel the third. Right? Coolidge and Mr. Moon were going somewhere together. But, you know, the Coolidge walked past me and I recognized him immediately. I don't really watch Mr. Moon, so I, I didn't recognize him right away. But uh Coolidge walked past me. And I recognized him, you know, I was like, okay, well, I don't want to bother him too much. I was like, hey, man, Coolidge, love your, love your streams, you know, super casual. He, and it's not like I was yelling across the thing. He literally walked past me. I was sitting at the end of the bar and he just, like, he had to walk past me. I was like, hey, man, Coolidge, love your streams, man, big fan of GTRP. He came over and he talked to me for like five minutes, right? He just came over and chatted, you know, asked me who I was, you know, thanked me for, you know, appreciating his content, so on, you know, and all that stuff. And, uh, that was it. That was it. Then when he clearly wanted to leave, right, his body language shifted. He wanted to go over to Mr. Moon, who he was originally meeting. He wasn't there. Just He's not going to stop and, like, change his plans just because he met a viewer. Right? And then I noticed the body language shift. You know, his instead of his shoulders facing me, he kind of turned his body a little bit. His feet were facing another way. Like, like he was ready to keep moving instead of, you know, engaging with me. And you take that nonverbal signal... I took that nonverbal signal that he was done, and it was clear the conversation was wrapping up as well, and I wasn't going to just keep hammering, yammering on for the sake of it. You know, I was like, cool, man. Well, appreciate it. I'll check you on the next stream and uh, enjoy the rest of the con. He said, you know, in kind, you know, whatever. I don't remember exactly what he said, but it was reciprocal. And that was the end of it. He went across to the other end of the bar where Mr. Moon went, because Mr. Moon kept walking, because uh, I only recognized Coolidge, so I called Coolidge out. Uh, and he kept walking. He just went and sat, and then Coolidge left. We were sitting at the same bar. You know, they didn't engage me any further. You know, they were at one end of the bar, I was at the other, and that was the end of it. You know what I mean? Like, now, there, at no point was there any indication, just because he stopped and talked to me, that I should have went over there and kept hanging out with Mr. Moon and Coolidge. No indication of it. No, I didn't. <laughs> would I have liked to? Of course. It would have been awesome to hang out with those two guys and just pick their brain a little bit. But they clearly had something going on, and their intent was to do something else, right? 
not just sit there and talk to me for whatever reason. They don't know who I am. Um, I mean, maybe they do now, but you know, same. The idea is, don't overstay your welcome. Don't overstay your welcome. Well, just do it. Be conscious, conscious of other people's time. Be aware that they have business meetings. They have people that they, you know, haven't seen all year that they want to hang out with. And watch body language. Body language is key. If somebody's not engaging you, 1055, not bad for fucking up that room a little bit. You know, or turning their body in a way that is away from you. Stuff like that. They're, um... Uh, Probably looking to do something else. Right, so just something to keep in mind. Just some, I guess, weird TwitchCon tip. Some strange TwitchCon tips, even though it's going to be a YouTube video. <laughs> but there it is. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. Pretty good run. I'm leaving for TwitchCon tomorrow. I'm going to end this video and uh, start another one, I guess. Uh, start recording that. I want to know on all platforms. Twitter, Twitch, YouTube. So on so forth. Thanks for watching.